Happy National 4-H Week to everyone at Brooks Elementary. On this month's agenda is the 4-H news, officer elections, and project achievement. Let's start by reciting the pledge. Everyone, please stand. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. You may be seated. This month in the October newsletter, you will find a summer camp dates, information about 4-H horse show, a holiday card contest, and a calendar of events for other upcoming 4-H activities. The newsletter will also go in your Google Classroom. Please have your parent or guardian scan the QR code on the front to receive points for Brooks Elementary 4-H School Club. Brooks Elementary received 40 points for the September newsletter submissions. At this time, you will hold your classroom 4-H officer elections. Students running for office may present their poster and give a short speech about why they are deserving of your votes. The audience should also remember to be good listeners by not talking while the candidates are speaking. At the completion of the speeches, you will vote for four students by marking four names with an X or check mark. Please do not mark more than four or less than four names. Candidates may vote for themselves. Please remember this is a secret ballot, so do not write your name on the ballot or discuss who you vote for with others. The student with the most votes will be president, second most votes will be vice president, third most votes will be secretary, and fourth most votes will be reporter. At this time, teachers may pause the recording so that the elections may be held. Today we are going to begin working on the most important event in Georgia 4-H, project achievement. This may sound very important and possibly very difficult. However, I'm here to teach you how simple this project can be. Who likes to talk in front of a group? Some of us are very comfortable doing this and others may find it a little scary. What makes it easier for most people is to talk about something that you find interesting or something that you know about. That's what project achievement is all about. It's telling your classmates about something that you want to talk about. That's right, you get to pick the topic. A project achievement demonstration is showing and telling about your topic. There are five steps to creating the perfect project. Let's walk through the steps you will need to take in order to design and develop a quality project achievement demonstration. Step one, choose a topic. Step two, research your topic. Step three, create a speech. Step four, design visual aids, and step five, practice, practice, practice. Today we are going to focus on step one, choosing a topic. You will need to start with a focused topic, one that is not too broad and not too specific. The topic should be something that you are passionate about. It should be interesting to your audience and be appropriately presented in the time limit you are allowed, which is around two to three minutes. Let's look at some topic examples before we pick our own topic. For our first activity today, let's try to get a better understanding of an appropriate topic for your presentation. You do not want to choose a topic that's too broad or too big or too specific. You need to choose a just right topic. Consider a topic on spiders. Would you be able to tell me all about every spider in two to three minutes? No. Therefore, spiders fall into the too big category. Consider narrowing your topic to a single type of spider, like wolf spiders. Suppose you like history. The history category is very broad. Consider narrowing your topic to a famous person in history or a famous historical place or event. Perhaps you enjoy cooking. You would not be able to cover all food types in two to three minutes. You could, however, tell how to plan and prepare a healthy meal. 
Many students enjoy giving presentations on different animals or wildlife. Keep in mind that the topic of dog, horse, snake, and turtle are very broad. Narrow your topic down to a specific breed or type. Instead of turtles, pick eastern box turtle. Finally, I use the example of sports. While you may love to play football, football is a very hard, broad topic to explain in two to three minutes. Consider picking an offensive or defensive position for your favorite sport and explaining the responsibilities of that position. Hopefully these examples help you pick a just right topic. Now you have a chance to pick your own topic. Using the web outline, place your topic in the center, then come up with three to five ideas that you would like to research about your topic. For next month's agenda, we will have an officer's training and we will continue with research, speech writing, and visual aids for our topic. Have a great October and I hope to see you in person in November.